All right, and we're recording. Hey gang, Andy here. Coming at you boop, with another uh, video, or like a car vlog, I guess. So, um, testing out another new uh, new system here. So I got both my old system, which was uh, my GoPro here for black, plugged into a lavalier mic, as well as my uh, Zoom H2N in the, uh, the bottom, uh, uh, Jeez, <laughs> drink holder here. So, uh, just heading into town, gonna get some coffee, gonna get some food, and I thought I'd take you guys along for the ride. So, uh, yeah. And I might, I'm not sure, I'm not 100%, but I think uh, last time I did this, um, I had the GoPro set to wide instead of super wide. So you guys might be getting a little bit more than last time. I'm not really sure, but we'll see how it comes out and like I said I'm also testing out the new system with the zoom h2n in the bottom uh, cup holder here so um, just to get a different uh, different take on sound and whatnot so I tried plugging in the lavalier mic but it just wasn't picking up for some reason it was very strange but it's whatever so I just have it set off to the side here in the bottom I'm not sure if I'm gonna you know have it as the main sound or if uh, I'm just going to use it to blend just to get a nice uh, bass going because that, that's usually what I do for like uh, for most of my videos and for like concert videos and stuff like that it's a neat little trick you know I have um, if my internal mic isn't too bad I might add it just to add a little bit more treble and then I add my zoom mic in for uh, for the actual detail and more clarity and things like that so yeah fun tricks so today we're gonna go get coffee at uh, my favorite coffee place here in Salina called Hazelnut Coffee. It's supposedly run by the uh, the mayor's wife because her name's Hazel. So uh, she brews a nice batch of batch of Joe. So uh, yeah, <laughs> why not? I think we just get in this way. And then uh, once we grab it, we'll go by the lake and uh, continue the video. That guy's going like really freaking slow. <laughs> like, come on, man. You got all day. Also, got to get food too. I'm really freaking hungry. Okay, cool. Yeah, we'll just go through the drive-through here. May or may not cut this part out. There it is, hazelnut coffee. Real small place, but uh, real awesome coffee. All right, guys, so the whole car smells like coffee now, and it's just fantastic. So I'm gonna swing by the lake here and uh, have ourselves a nice, little chat just talk about stuff and things whilst I'm drinking my coffee so yeah I guess I'll divide this video up into like two little parts right so this is gonna be like the little car vlog part and then the next part is gonna be me actually uh, talking about updating things and whatnot so. I'm just going over here, right? So, yeah, here's a good spot. Right here. All right, cool. All right, guys, so I decided to uh, split off the uh, talking portion where I give you guys updates and things like that to a separate video. And I'm just gonna make the car vlog its own uh, separate video, separate from the talkie portion <laughs> where, I, 
where I'm talking to you guys in front of the camera and stuff. So consider this part two of uh, today's car vlog. Uh, so I just got done eating some hothead burrito and drinking some coffee. I know I got a death wish. <laughs> so yeah, but anyway, let's roll out of here. And uh, for you tech spec guys, if you didn't catch it in the first part, um, I'm running my old setup with, with a little something new just to test it out. So my uh, main setup is my GoPro here for black plugged in to a, uh, a lapel mic that I got from the, uh, oh, where did I get this from? I think the Hapig Rocket, I believe is where I got this from. It's, it's, it's an unknown, it's like a no name, uh, generic lapel mic. I have a, like a little windscreen thing attached to it. So that way you don't hear so much uh, popping noises and stuff like that. Excuse me. You might hear some ruffling though, just cause it's pretty close to my face. It's like close to my neck, I guess. So yeah. And in addition to that, I also have my Zoom H2N uh, running in my main little uh, uh, cup holder spot as opposed to up forward a bit more so I got that and uh, we're just gonna roll and I'll I'll see how the audio sounds might blend it a little bit because I, I typically do that for like concerts and stuff like that just because some mics pick up frequencies better than others so I might add like the uh, you, typically what I do is <clears throat> I use the external mic for the majority of it and then I have my internal mic if the audio is not too distorted. Uh, I use that for like more of the trebly, more detailed sound. So I just kind of add it a bit low in the mix so you get a little bit more, more definition. More sparkle, more spank. Put some stank on it. <laughs> as it were. So yeah, like I said, we're just leaving Hothead Burrito. Um, it's good stuff. Basically, it's it's kind of like uh, kind of like Chipotle, but it's got a bit more options. Food's really fucking good, let me tell you. So um, yeah, <laughs> I definitely missed uh, Mexican food when I was out in Yokosuka, Japan. Because I mean, yeah, they had, Jesus truck, okay. Yeah, they had uh, like Taco Bell, like I could access it on base and stuff. But you know, it, it's not the same, you know? And uh, there were some good Mexican restaurants out in like the Tokyo area, but I'd have to go all the way out there for that. Uh, I guess like some of my recommendations would be uh, Guzman y Gomez. That's uh, one that I went to a couple times as a recommendation from Fox from the Kanto Kitsune channel in Japanista. <laughs> So just a little plug for him. Um, he also <clears throat> goes to more uh, Mexican restaurants and stuff like that out in Japan as well. And so definitely check him out. I'll put a link below in the, uh, in the description down below in the booby boops so you can check him out there. So yeah, uh, we're just kind of driving through uh, a little spot from, uh, from Walmart and that whole mall area. Um, yeah, Salina is not really that big. It's not a whole lot of stuff to do here. It's, I mean, a lot of people come down here for like the summer because of the lake, which you can see off in the distance. <laughs> um, a lot of people tend to come down here for the summertime because, you know, it's when all the, the, the tourists and stuff come down, you know, just to relax for a weekend or whatever. And, uh, you know, they get like, they rent boats and stuff like that. and. <clears throat> They have like, you know, lake cabins and things like that. And uh, there's also a, uh, a college campus, the Wright State Lake Campus is here as well. But uh, it's more of like a, just an extended campus rather. So it only has like a couple courses and things like that. And it's kind of, it's kind of a downer because they, uh, Salina isn't really marketed as a college town. And I think uh, it would do a lot better than it does now if it were to uh, market itself as such. But you know, it is what it is. So, yeah, we're just driving down the, uh, not Main Street per se, but uh, one of the main roads. Oh, 
and uh, for my um, international viewers, uh, that's in miles per hour, not kilometers. So I would actually be driving about 45, 50-ish kilometers per hour, somewhere in that range. So um, after putting up the, uh, the first car vlog video, I noticed I got a lot of comments about how um, <clears throat> how much parking and how much uh, space and everything there is. Oh, geez, I better speed up. <laughs> Going too slow, Andy. But anyway, like I say, oh, they're tearing down the, uh, the old Bob Evans. Okay. Or they're renovating. I'm not I'm not sure. But yeah, the building on the left used to be a Bob Evans. Anyway, like I was saying, uh, in the first car vlog, I uh, noticed a lot in the comments about you know how much space there is here in Salina and uh, how much parking and how low the uh, the gas or petrol prices are here in the states and uh, yeah that's that's one of the things I do like about uh, about America in general you know it's not just a Salina thing or an Ohio thing it's definitely an American thing about the low cost of gas and it's <laughs> It's funny whenever like my friends or my parents or whatever complain, Oh my god, Andy, the gas price is so fucking high. I'm like, really, Mom? Really? What the fuck? Okay. <laughs> he was just backing out. So, um, yeah, I thought it was kind of funny because even when gas was in, you know, the $4 per gallon range, which was way back in the day, thankfully, um, it was still considerably lower than internationally and uh, thankfully gas prices have gone down considerably and I attribute that to the fairly recent uh, oil find in North Dakota which um, lowered our dependency on foreign oil so because it was more domestic it cost less to transport cost less to import all that kind of stuff so obviously they passed on the savings to us so thanks Obama you're, you're not so bad of a guy, despite what people may say. But anywho, yeah, right now it's fall, as you can see from all the, the changing leaves and stuff like that. I also got a viewer from California who, you know, probably doesn't see these kinds of colors too often in Cali, huh? Jeez, uh, okay. Stop, 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 stop. All right. <laughs> yeah, I gotta remember I can't make sudden stops with this car. So, uh, yeah, I'm, uh, I, I'm used to, you know, I like the bigger vehicles, that's why I got this one, but uh, I'm used to the smaller cars that kind of break on a dime. So, you know, whenever I see the, you know, the, the caution light, you know, the ye yellow light, I start to break and I'm like, eh. <laughs> So, sometimes I just gotta run it, you know. Not run a red light, obviously, but, you know. I can't brake on a dime like I could before. And I actually like <laughs> activated the anti-lock brake system when I was uh, trying to brake suddenly the other day. And I was like, okay, this ain't a little itty bitty tiny car. So yeah, there's that. That is pretty much the uh, outskirts of town here. So um, anyway, uh, that's pretty much all I wanted to say in this, uh, this little car vlog. Uh, there's not much else really to see from here on out, so we'll just end the video here. So yeah, this is the Andy Son. Sign up for now. Thanking you guys, poop, tuning in to this uh, car vlog and for watching my other stuff. Also want to thank you guys for liking, the thumbs, commenting, subscribing, sending your friends to the party. And hey, as always, we'll see you next time. Catch you later, guys. Bye.